Hey, San Jose City College. Uh, this is John Cronin. Um, unfortunately, we're not in class right now, so we're trying the next best thing, and we're going to try and film out here in lab. So the first thing we're going to cover today is the sequence of operation on a furnace. Uh, once we go through the sequence of operation, uh, we'll look at several components on here, and we'll look at error codes. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do on this furnace is I'm going to jump it out. So by jumping it out, I'm going to turn it on through jumper wires uh, versus using the thermostat. So on any furnace, when we start looking at the sequence of operation, uh, it doesn't matter what the brand is. Uh, it could be a train, it could be a carrier, it could be a Lennox. Uh, they're all going to start with a call for heat. So your thermostat's going to have to close. The first item that's going to come on is going to be the inducer motor. Uh, once the inducer motor uh, comes on, we're going to create a vacuum through the heat exchanger and we're going to get a good draw going up the flue pipe. Uh, once we get a good draw going up the flue pipe, pressure switch is going to pick up that negative pressure. It closes. That sends a signal to the circuit board. The circuit board is going to power up the spark igniter. This spark igniter on here is about 10,000 volts. So when this thing is sparking, you got to keep your hands away from the unit. If you get shocked with 10,000 volts, it hurts. Uh, so when it's sparking, keep your hands away from it. Uh, while it's sparking, we're going to power up the pilot portion of the gas valve. Once the pilot lights, uh, the flame sensor is going to prove that the pilot lit. Uh, the circuit board is going to pick up the flame rectification. Then we're going to power up the main gas valve. The main's going to uh, light, and then through a time delay, the blower motor is going to come on. So I'm going to flip on the disconnect, and then I'm going to take a jumper wire, and when I go to jump these out, I'm, I'm calling for heating. And really, right now is a good time to jump it out while the power is off. So now I can get in here safely. I can put a jumper on the red wire. I can put a jumper on the white wire. And now when I flip it on, Uh, we're going to be calling for heat. So right now, the first item that's coming on is our inducer motor. So the inducer motor is coming on. We can hear it running. And then I can also go through and I can take an amperage reading off of it and see it's running. Uh, the, you're hearing a, a buzzing sound. Uh, that buzzing sound right now is our spark igniter. So we have a spark right now coming out. Uh, we have not been out here and shot for quite some time because of the uh, COVID-19. So we have not been running any gas through these. So it's going to take a second to purge the gas out. Uh, once the gas is purged out, which it is now, uh, the pilot lit. And now the main burners came on. As you can tell, these new furnaces are very loud. Uh, this damn thing sounds like a jet firing off right now. So if this thing was anywhere near a customer, uh, they would definitely, definitely hear that sound. So our furnace is heating up and then via time delay, what's going to happen is the blower motor is going to come on. So there was a click and now the blower motor is on. So we are fully fired up on the furnace now and we are cranking heat into that uh, building or into that room. Now, these furnaces do have a lot of safeties built into them. So if there was any issue with the furnace, where if the furnace overheated in a spot, or if we don't have good draw going up the flue pipe, that furnace is gonna shut itself down. So an example would be, let's say I get a bird's nest up in the flue pipe. Well, then I'm not going to have good draw going up the flue pipe. So I'm going to simulate a bad um, airflow up the flue pipe by pulling off the tube to the pressure switch. Right when I pull this tube off, the flame stopped. So right away, the circuit board knows that the pressure switch opened. And now the circuit board de-energized the gas valve. And then over on the circuit board, now there's a little LED light that's down here on the board. 
and this little LED light is flashing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of flashes. I'm seeing one, two, yeah, two flashes. You come over here onto uh, the little error code chart and it says two flashes on here is an open uh, pressure switch uh, with the inducer motor on. So the circuit board is smart enough to know that it's powering up the inducer motor but it also knows that the uh, pressure switch on here uh, closed or, or was open. Um, so now that I put the two back on, pressure switch is gonna reclose and now the furnace right now is firing right back up. So you heard the igniter, there's the main burner and then the blower never shut off because the furnace was still hot. So this is a basic sequence of operation off of a gas furnace. The next one we're going to look at is we're going to look at a split system furnace and we're going to look at temperature rise and we're going to look at flame rectification. So tune in to the next video.